Hello, I welcome you all to this wonderful lesson and in this lesson we are calling it division section where we are going to revise through all the questions that have been given. So tonight we are not going to have a live session but I want you to pay attention to this. I want you to get everything that I'm going to explain in this wonderful lesson. So I want your total attention. I want you to follow me properly even as I get to teach you this. This is the first question that we have. This question is falling under circle theorem. So how do we get to answer questions in an exam that fall under circle theorem? This question I gave it yesterday, so I just want us to revise through it together and other questions that I've been giving. So the question is saying the diagram below shows the line AC of the cyclic quadrilateral a, B, C, D meets at E. So this is the line AC of the cyclic quadrilateral meeting at E. O is the center of the circle. So we've got the center of the circle O that is there. This is what you are given. So the first question is saying calculate B, A, C. They want us to calculate B, A, C. So the angles here, let us interpret the angles that we are given. Have you seen this O angle that is here? This O thing is 75. But this thing that is just on top, that is 30 degrees. So we want to find BAC. BAC. This is what we are looking for. How can we find this? Since we know that the O thing from here to there is 75, then this part on top is 30. To find this thing, we just say this is equal to, this is what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm just going to say 75 minus 30, where the answer will be what? 45 degrees as my answer. So this angle that is there is what? 45 degrees. Such that if I add 45 plus 30, I'm going to get a 75 that is here, that is for this O angle. So I'm able to divide now. I can remove this. I can remove that so that I write it properly like this. I know that there, this is 30. Then here I found 45. So I can write it like that. I can write something like this so that I don't get confused. So this is 45 that I've answered there. Then the other question, I go to this question that is here. So I'm using circle properties to answer these questions b c d b c d i want to find the angle that is here how can i find the angle that is there since this is a cyclic quadrilateral then i know that angles opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral adds up to 180 i know that this angle that is here this whole thing there is 75 i know that this is 75 so plus this which i don't know i need to get 180 so for me to find the angle that is there i just need to say 180 minus 75 this is what i just need to do the answer i'm going to get is 105 degrees as my answer so i know that this angle this o angle that is there this is what 105 such that 105 plus 75 that is there, I need to get 180. So, interior angles in a cyclic quadrilateral adds up to 180, opposite interior angles. This side that is here and that side should add up to what? 180. We have this 75. So, to find this, we just say 180 minus 75, we get the 105 that is here. This is what you are supposed to do. I move on to this other one. This is a, another question that I want us to answer. O, B, D. Where O is here. O, B, D. How can I answer the angle that is here? Just the angle that is here. I want to find the angle that is where? There. So I know that this angle that is here, this 75 that is here, they are lying, have you seen, here, there. So there is something that we call the angle at the center is twice bigger than the angle at the circumference. Have you seen? D here. They are all 
standing at this same code. Have you seen this code? This same code. This is a code. And the, the angle is formed. Meaning the angle that is here is twice bigger than the angle at the circumference. If here we've got 75, meaning 75 times 2, here we are going to get 150. So the angle that is here is what? 150. I've got the angle there, what? 150. Since these, from here to there, they are coming from the center, meaning these two angles are equal. These two angles are equal. Since these two angles are equal, this is, this is what? 150. And you know that interior angles should add up to 180. Interior angles of a triangle adds up to 180. So meaning that there we've got 15 degrees. Even here we've got 15 degrees. So that if we add 15 plus 15 plus 150, we get 180. So angle O, B, D, this angle that is here, is what? 15 degrees. What am I using to answer these questions? I'm using circle properties, properties of a circle that is helping me to answer these questions. So this is what you are supposed to do. These are some of the things that you need to get. You don't even need to struggle in answering these questions. You just need to answer them like this. So the same way I'm answering them, this is how you are supposed to answer them. I go to this question that is here. Oh, this is uh, the last question that uh, I'm answering. It's saying O, B, C. I want to find O, B, C. How can I find O, B, C? This is O, B, C. Have you seen O, B, C? This O thing now. This O angle that is here. I know that this part I've got a 15. I just need to find the angle that is there. Since I already have this 15. So have you seen, you need to be sensitive. Have you seen this code that is here? This code. The angle here goes there, comes back there. Even this one is coming from there, going here, coming back there. So they are on the same word, same code. As long as they are on the same code. So even this one is a 30. Even this one is a 30. They are lying on the same word, same code. This is a code. C, D. This angle 30 is forming on this code C, D. Even this one here, 30 here, C, D. So meaning this one and that one, they are equal. This is 30. So this and that are equal. So for you to find this, you know that this is 30. This is 15 plus, 15 plus 30. It, that is your answer. Your answer is what? 45 degrees. You are done. So this is how you are supposed to answer. I'm using what? Circle properties to answer these questions. So far, I've just used the one that says the angle at the center is twice bigger than the angle at the circumference. I've used it. And the one that says angles on the same code are equal. I've also used it. Have you seen? So these are the circle properties that I've used to help me answer this question. And the one that says Opposite angles in a uh, interior opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral adds up to 180. This one I've also used it. So for me to answer this question, I've just used three properties. So which means that all the properties of uh, circles are supposed to be known. So this is a question. Hope you've seen how I've answered this question, and this is how you are supposed to answer it. Let us move on to the other question now. Okay, so this is question two, falling under bearings. So this is also another question that I gave as exercise. So let's see how we are going to revise this. This is Friday. So before we go into weekend, we revise through some important questions here together. So find the bearing of T from L, T from K. These are the questions that we are given. How do we answer these questions? You know that here, this is T. You put a north. You generate a north so that you answer this question very well, correctly. You also generate a north there. 
So the first question is saying T from L. We know that whenever we are talking about bearings, the way we get to move in bearings, we move in a clockwise direction. So the way we are going to move, if you are given something like this, have you seen these are points here? You are given something like this. This is north and this is north. So if this is A and this is B, and you are told to find the bearing of A from B, so you come from here, you go to B like this. Have you seen? This is the bearing of B from A. This is how you are going to move. From A, you start at A, you go to B. But if you are told to find the bearing of B, so the bearing of A from B, if the question is like this, the bearing of A from B. So what you are going to do now, you, this is B, you are going to go around in a clockwise direction until you meet A. a. Have you seen like this? So this one here, this is the bearing of A from B. You are coming from B, you are moving in this direction. Have you seen? This is how you are moving. But the bearing of B from A, this is A, you just start at A, you move like this. So this is the angle that you find here. Here, this is the angle that you are looking for. So these are two important things that you need to understand under bearings before we even progress or look at other parts. So we now go to this question that we are given. This is a, a, an important question that we are supposed to consider even in an exam. So the question is saying, we find the bearing of T from L. Where is L? L is here. So L from T from L. L is here. So the angle that you are looking for is this angle. Have you seen I move like this? T. You are starting from L. Have you seen you are moving like this? So from this, you are starting from L meeting T. T is this line going to T. So this is the angle that we are looking for. Have you seen? This is the angle that we are looking for. So this angle that is here, it was supposed to make a complete turn. When it reached here, it could have been 3 skisty. Have you seen? It could have been 3 skisty degrees. But there is this part that has been left out. So for us to find this angle here, this angle, the turn that is here, we need to know that angle that is there, this small angle that is there. After we find this small angle, then we say 3 skisty minus this part that is here, so we know that the angles that are like that, if you've got angles arranged under like that in under bearing, what you need to do, you know that these two, when you add them, you need to find one eight. So to find this part that is here, you're just going to say that one eight minus one twenty three. This is what you are doing. We subtract. So you are not supposed to use a calculator when you are answering these type questions. So you know this one becomes a 7, this one 10. 10 minus 3, this one is a 7. 7 minus 2, 5. So this one becomes 57. So you now know that the angle that is here, the angle that is here is 57. Have you seen? This is not your answer. You've just found that as what? As 57. This is to tell you that if you add these two, definitely you are going to get 18. Have you seen? If you add 123 plus 57, you are going to get what? You are going to get 18. So from a complete turn, which is this case, remove this part that is here. This is what? This is 57. Just remove the 57 because you are not interested in the 57. So if you subtract here, the answer that you are going to get, you discover that you are going to get 3 zero three degrees so this is your answer on part a just like that so the, from here when you move like this when you move move up to there you are going to get three zero three degrees such that if you add three zero three plus fifty seven for a complete turn you are going to get three skist so this is what you get to do so this is we were looking for this this is 303. You answer it just like that. You now move on to this other question that is saying T from K. 
So you want to find t from k. This is what you want to do. Where is k? From k, k is here. T is this line. So the north is here. We're moving in a clockwise direction. This is the angle that we are looking for. The angle is just here. This is the angle that we are looking for. So how do we answer this now? Since we are looking for this, have you seen this is the angle that we are looking for? So what we are going to do, you know that you can cut this angle. If you want, you can answer it in two ways. If you finish this like this, if you finish this like this, have you seen? You finish it like this. You know that this is a straight line like this. We are making a straight line. So since it is a straight line, this is to tell you that when you say 180, a straight line adds up to 180. When you say, here we've got 110, don't forget, we've got 110 here. So I'm going to rub it a bit. So we say, here we are going to have what? Here we are going to have something that is making a triangle like this. Have you seen? I mean, a Z. We've got a Z here. We are forming a Z. Have you seen? So the angle that is here is equal to the angle that is there. Which is what? Which is 57. So here I've got 57 that is there. This is a 57 that is there. Then I know that here I add 110. Don't forget, you add 110 here. So 110, we found this part. How can we find this part? You just say 110 minus 57 like this. What answer are you getting? So the answer that you are going to get. So these are angles. Have you seen? We are dealing with bearings. So these are angles. And this topic usually is a grade 9 topic where we get to talk of angles. So when you subtract there, this one, you say, okay, this one is a 10, becomes a, a 0 like this. So put a 1 there. What are you going to have? You are going to have a 3 there. You are going to get 3. Then here, you are going to have 10. This one, it became a 0. So it became a 10 like this. 10 minus 5, it is 5, 53. Meaning that here you've got what? 53. The angle that is here, 53. Such that if you add these two, you are going to go back to your 110 that was here. We had 110 here. You are going, going to go back to your 110 that was there. Have you seen? So here we are also making another Z. We are forming another Z like this. So the angle that is here, is equal to the angle that is here, 53. So this angle is equal to that angle. And that angle is equal to that angle. This is how these things are interrelated. Meaning this one is just equal to what? 53. Since these are bearings, we write 0, 53 degrees as our answer. This is what we get to do. So the same way I'm answering these questions, this is how you are supposed to answer them. This is how you get to follow them. This same way, this is how you are supposed to answer them. So I'm using basics. If you don't want to use this method, you know this is 110, 123. Find the angle that is there. By adding this, subtract from 3 skisti. After subtracting from 3 skisti, after you find the answer that is there, then you say 180 minus the answer that is there, you are going to get a 53 that is there. So you can use any method or any way that you are comfortable with. But by the end of the day, we are going to arrive at the same answer. So this is how these things are interrelated. This is how you are supposed to know them. This is how you need to get them. So hope we are revising through. We are getting concept here and there. This is the exercise that I gave you. These are possible solutions that I was looking for. So we are done with this. Let us move now to another question. So this is another question that we have. This question is falling under mensuration. So let's see how we get to answer questions like this in an exam. If questions like this come in an exam. So make sure that you are able to copy down questions like this so that you don't... Uh, you don't need to look for this video when you want to revise through mensuration. So let's see how we are going to answer this particular question. So you can pause this particular part. You copy down the questions 
then u continue so this is a, a question that uh, we have we want to see how we can answer this particular question the question is saying a cylindrical water tank at arisonite academy has diameter of 200 centimeters and height 250 centimeters as shown below taking pi to be 3.142 the first question is saying find so we want to find the total surface area of the tank if it is crossed this is what we want to find then the second question is saying the number of liters of water the tank can hold so this is a question if these questions come in an exam this one gets to carry three marks even this one here is carrying three marks so i just want you to see how we get to answer these particular questions how we can go about them so i'm going to use the same space that is here i believe you've written down this particular question you've written down this particular question so the question here the first question we want to find the total surface area of the tank if it is crossed get this question second one the number of liters of water the tank can hold these are two questions that we want to answer i believe you've written down these questions i told you to pause right then continue so the first question we want to find the total surface area of this tank if it is crossed so since the tank is crossed we have two circular surface areas two circles the circle on top and the circle uh, the circle that is down here and the circle that is on top there so you say area is equal to the total surface area so i want to find the total surface area is equal to so total surface area is equal to i've told you that we've got two circles so area of these two circles we find the area of these two circles so the area of these two circles we know that we say two then area of a circle is pi r squared this is how we get to find the what the area of a circle just pi so here we are going to use the formula pi r squared even here we get to use the formula pi r squared since they are coming twice meaning i just put a 2 here 2 pi r squared so of this what of this cylind uh, cylindrical water tank so it is having two circles that one that is on top there the lid and the circle that is down here which is the base so th you find the areas of those two then you say plus aside that we also need to know that there is the curved surface area the curved have you seen the way it is the curved it is a curved surface area so for us to find this curved this is a tank around like this so for us to find the curved surface area the formula that we get to use you just say 2 pi r h this is a formula that we get to use for this curved surface so if a question just come that find the curved surface area which means that you are finding the curved have you seen the curved su surface area you remove these two what these two surfaces which is the lead there and the base there you remove these two but in this question we are just told to find the total surface area of the tank the o tank so the total surface area for the o tank this is the formula that you need to use this is the area of the two circles the circle on top the circle the circle down and the circle on top this one is the formula for the curved surface area this is what you need to do so now you just apply what you are given i think from here this is simple we are able to go about this this is equal to two times what is pi we are told pi is this one 3.142 pi will always be given times what is the radius since this is a diameter for you to find the radius you just divide by what two so 200 divided by 2 you get 100 meaning radius is 100 squared so 100 squared you do this you cross the bracket you put in brackets 
you say plus you find what is this side so this is 2 times pi 3.142 times the radius which is 100 times the height what is the height the height is 250 this is the height which is 250 so the height is 250 on this one you can use a calculator you can use a calculator for us to answer this so which means this is equal to you punch this on your calculator so punch this on your calculator so likely confirm with me this answer i may make some mistakes even in my calculation this is the answer i had to find the answer that is here this is what i found plus i had to punch this on the calculator this is the answer that i found so make sure that you confirm with me so this is what you want to find make sure that you confirm make sure you confirm so what is the answer here now if we add everything the answer that we are getting is 219.940. Then I just say centimeters squared. Since it is the total surface area of a tank. This is the answer that I'm finding. Kindly confirm with me. I may make some mistakes even in my calculations. But the formulas and everything. This is what we are supposed to do. Hope you've seen how I've answered this particular question. So this is how you are supposed to answer it. These are the procedures that you are supposed to do. So these are some of the things that you need to know. These are the, some of the things that you need to get. Have you seen the same way I'm answering this? This is how you are supposed to answer it. The same way I'm answering, this is how you are supposed to answer. I've told you this, the two, don't say, okay, the other is a two and this is a two. No, this two, it has come about because we've included the lead. The lead there is a circle. Even the base there is a circle. We are talking of a tank. So this is what you are supposed to know and understand. Just like this, we are done. So we've found the what? The total surface area of the tank if it is crossed. This is what you are supposed to do. This is what you are supposed to understand. So most of the questions will be coming if it is closed. Maybe someone can think of saying, ah, what if it is open? Questions, most of the questions will be coming that when it is what closed. So that you are able to calculate everything properly. We now move on to confirm with me this answer. We now move on to the next part, the other part. The other part, we were taught to say, we find the number of liters of water the tank can hold. We find the number of liters of water that this tank can hold. This tank that is at what? Addison IT Academy. So how can we calculate this? You first need the volume. To calculate the volume in cubic centimeters, since the radius is given in what? In centimeters. So you know that we are going to calculate the volume in what? In centimeters cubed. So after which we are going to convert the volume from cubed centimeters to liters. So since this is already given in centimeters, we are going to calculate the volume. What is the volume? How do you calculate the volume here? Have you seen the volume of a cylinder? So this is the volume of a cylinder. What we are going to do, you just say pi R squared H. This is the formula that we get to use. This is the formula we are going to use. So this volume that we are going to calculate, this volume that we are going to calculate, we need to convert it to liters. Since this is already in centimeters, so we calculate in centimeters where we say, the volume is equal to what is pi? Pi is 3.142. Pi is always given. This is pi. Times what is the radius? The radius, 200 is the diameter. To find the radius, you divide by 2. That is 100. You can say 100 squared. If you want, you can say 100 times 100. It is just one and the same. 100 times 100. Times what is the height? Height is 250. This is the height that is here, which is what? 250. Where you say volume is now equal to. So kindly punch this on the calculator. Punch this. Help me punch this. And let's see the answer that you are going to find. So if you punch this on the calculator, 
mine is showing this. This is the answer that I'm able to see. So kindly confirm, kindly confirm this. this since it is volume, we put what? We put this centimeters cubed since it is volume. So after doing this, the question was saying that we find the number of liters of water the tank can hold. So the number of what liters that this tank can hold. So we convert now this centimeters or cubed centimeters to what to liters. But we already know that one liter, this is what we know. We know this conversion that one liter, when you are talking of one liter, one liter is equivalent to what is equivalent to 1000 centimeter cubed centimeters. This is what you already know. Then you want to find the number of liters. Then here you are going to put that one that is in cent in cubed centimeters like this. This is what you are going to do. You put that one centimeters cubed. These are going to be cancelled. Have you seen? Then you cross multiply. So you are going to have this one like this. This one will go there. This is what you are going to have. This times one, you are going to have seven, eight, five, five, zero, zero, zero liters, which is equal to one thousand x. You divide both sides by one thousand. So here divide by one thousand. Here you also divide by one thousand. This this cancels out. So x is now equal to what is the value of x? What is our x? So what is our x? Our x will be what? Our x will be 7, 8, 5, 5 liters as our answer. Have you seen liters like this? So this is how you get to calculate. In other words, if you are given this, which is in centimeters cubed, if you want to change it to liters, you just divide by 1000. This is what we did. And you get this as your answer. So this is the volume of the tank. So this is the what? This is the volume of the tank. This this is the number of liters that this tank can hold. Just like this, you calculate. This is how you need to calculate. These are some of the things that you are supposed to know. So I want you people to be fully equipped in these things. I want you people to know how we get to calculate these things so i believe you are getting something you are able to write down the questions that i'm solving here you are able to write down everything that we are doing here let us move on to the next question so we've got now these uh, other questions these questions are falling under sectors so how can we answer this this is paper one we are not supposed to use it. calculators so how do we answer these questions? So in we've got these two questions. So I just want you to get this. I want you to have full information on these things. I want you to get this, understand this very well. So now, here we are given this particular question saying find the length AB. Want to find the length AB. So this is the arc length that we want to find. Have you seen? This is the arc length. So for us to find that, there is a formula that we need to use. So the formula is AB is equal to theta over 3 skisti times 2 pi r. So whenever we are dealing with questions where we are not allowed to use calculators, we use pi. The pi that we are going to use in this case will be what? 22 over 7. This is the pi that we are going to use. So we just substitute in this. Where we are going to say that AB is equal to. So what is the theta? The theta is given in this case. That is 75. So we say 75 over 3 skisti times 2 times pi 22 over 7. This is what we are going to do. Times what is the radius? The radius we are given that it is 42. We are given the radius 42. This is the radius that we are given. So now we start working out these things. How do you work out? The way we get to work out these questions gets to differ. 
So we, you are going to say this is A, B. You start now manipulating these numbers. You say 7 there, it is 1. 7 there, it is 6. 7 into 42, it is 6. You say what is uh, 2 there, it is 1. 2 in there, in 2, 3, it is 1, 8. Have you seen? You get 1, 8. So what you are going to have here, I just to move you, I just want us to be moving bit by bit. 75 over 180, this is what you've remained with, times here this one has gone. 2, 1 has gone. So we've remained with 22 times 6. This is what you've remained with. Have you seen? We start now manipulating numbers. 6 there, it is 1. 6 into 180. 6 into 180, you get what? You are going to get a 30. So you get a 30. Have you seen? So what is 2 into this one? 22, it is 11. 2 into 30, it is 15. Have you seen? 15. So we've remained with A, B is equal to 75 over, down here we've got 15, times 11. This is what we've remained with. Have you seen? This is what we've remained with. Then you say A, B is equal to, A, B is equal to what? I think I haven't left anything. 11, 6, okay. This is what we've remained with. So you say, what is 77 what, 75 times 11? You pa, you you uh, try to work out that. So what answer are you going to get when you punch this? 75, 75 here times 11. 5, you get 7. You get 5, you get 7. You do this. Here 5 there. This is 2. Remember 1. This is 7, 8. So we are going to get what? 8, 25. You are not supposed to use a calculator. So you get 8, what? 8, 25. Over what? Over 15. Then you just say centimeters. This is your what? This is your answer. If you don't want to divide, you just leave it there. So if you don't want to divide, they, they will still mark you. There is no problem. They are still going to mark you. But if you know that this can go into that 55 times, it's better you just finish here where you say A, B is equal to 55 centimeters as your answer. So this is the answer that we get. So for you to find the arc length or the length on a sector, this is a formula that we are going to use. This is a formula that you, we need to use. The same way I've calculated, this is the same way you are supposed to calculate these things. So the same way I'm answering this, this is the same way you are supposed to answer these particular questions. Have you seen? So the same way I'm calculating this, this is how you are supposed to calculate. So we are done with this. Let us move to this question that is there. We move to that other question. So we move to that. We move to this. This is uh, the question that is here. The question is saying, if area of this sector is 77 centimeters squared, find the radius. We want to find the radius. So the formula for area of a sector is given by this. Area is equal to theta over 3 skisti times pi r squared. This is a formula for area of a sector. So since this is the formula for the area of a sector, for us to answer this, this is what we are going to do. This is something that we are going to do. We say area we are given. The area is what? 77. You are given 77, which is equal to. What is the theta? Theta here, this is a right angle, meaning it is what? 90 over 3 skisti times. What is the pi? What is the pi there? What is the pi? What will be our pi? I've told you we use 22 over 7 times. What is the radius? What is the radius? The radius is the one that we are looking for. So you say radius squared. You just leave it like that. Have you seen? You just leave it like that. Then you follow procedures. You follow what? You follow procedures now. You start cancelling out numbers now. 
What is, you know that 90 there, it is 1. 90 into 3 skist, it is 4. Have you seen? 2 there, it is 11. 2 into 4, it is 2. So what I've remained with is this. I've remained with something like this. 77 is equal to 1 over 2 times 11 over 7 times R squared. This is what I've remained with. Have you seen? This is what I've remained with. So from here now, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? From here now, I, um, I, I know that here, what is down here? Have you seen this thing that I'm having down here? What I'm having down here, I can multiply these two. Have you seen? I can multiply these two. I know that when I say 77 divided by 7, this one can go into that. Have you seen? This one can go into that. So, okay, let me do this over 1 here. Let me multiply here. 77 over 1 so that I don't miss any step. Here I'm going to get 11 R squared over 14. I'm going to get a 14. Then I multiply here. I multiply here. So what am I going to have if I multiply? So I'm going to have 77 times 14. You are not using a calculator. Don't write the answer. R squared. You divide both sides by 11. You also divide both sides by 11. This 11, this 11 will cancel out. We continue from here. So what are we going to have here? So I'm going to have R squared, which is equal to. So 11 there, it is 1. 11 into 77. So I say 77, if I divide by 11, the answer that I'm going to get, you know that it goes there 11, uh, 7 times. So what I'm going to do, here I know that it is what, 7 times. So just the same as 7 times 14. 7, 11 there cancels out. So I've remained with this now. So this answer that is here, I multiply by 14. So I say times what? Times 14. 7 times 14. The answer that you are going to get there, so you say, okay, this is 14, 7, 28. Remember two. This is seven plus one plus two nine ninety eight. R squared is equal to ninety eight. You introduce the square root. You introduce the square root. So meaning R is equal to. You don't know the perfect square for this. So just say ninety eight centimeters. This is what you are going to do. You don't know. This is not a perfect square. So meaning you just leave it like this. You can't find the square root of that number. So you just leave it like that. This is your what? This is your answer. So make sure you develop a culture where you get to answer these questions without using a calculator. These type questions. So this is where we are going to end from. Hope you've uh, learned something. Hope uh, you've gotten one or two things from this revision. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for staying connected. We continue on Monday with our current topic, which are Seco Theorems. Have a wonderful night and a wonderful weekend. We meet on Monday. Thank you.